Good morning. This is election time in America. We've been voting for weeks, but today we start counting votes, except in Michigan, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Pennsylvania. Who knows when they're going to be done counting? But in Florida, the only state that matters to me, we're voting. Well, we voted for months, but we start finding out the results today. Like and subscribe, hate and comment. I did wear a New York Giants shirt today because I wanted to show something that could blow a lead. And since I don't have a Falcons jersey, here we go. I took the map of uh, uh, 270 to win, uh, put it up there. I got rid of the likelies and the uh, toss-ups. I threw them out. They have it walking in 212 to 125 uh, that are going to pick. I'm going to go from the least likely to flip to the most likely to flip. So I'm going to start out west. Um, they put this as a lean, but I have it as a likely. I think it's going to be a big one for Biden. I, I just don't see a map in which a Republican will close that gap. Hispanics have not been supporting Republicans out there for a long time. The demographics have just not gotten good for Republicans in general. On the other hand, they have Texas as a as a, a lean, uh, even to a toss-up. Again, it's going to be a win for Republicans. Come on. Biden's not losing that state. Biden's not winning that state. It's going to be Trump. Um, and then for Joni Ernst, um, she's going to be helped by Trump winning Iowa. So now we get into the more competitive areas. Ohio has been on the correct side of an election for like ever. Trump will win Ohio. Are we seeing a pattern here? Let's see. Down in my neck of the woods. Yeah. Trump's winning Florida. Let's, let's do the math here. We're only 130,000 more Democrats have voted earlier than Republicans at this point. Most of the votes that are left out there are going to be cast by Republicans because Democrats did a great job of cannibalizing their own vote, but they didn't expand their map. More uh, late registrants have been Republican. Republicans added that. And in North Florida, the correlation between being a Democrat and voting for the Democrats nationally is much lower than the rest of the state. Um, Trump should win the state by 1.5%. Now, Minnesota... Um, on the other hand, this is the fool's goat for the Republicans. Can we win it? I think we can pick up the House seat. There's an outside chance we can pick up the Senate seat, but we are not beating, uh, Republicans are just not beating Biden there in that seat for the White House. So the Democrats right now are at 228. Now the one place I think Trump can flip is New Hampshire. Um, it's less likely, but because of the media market, I think there's going to be a strong pull to get Trump to win there. I also think Trump is going to win the other congressional district in Maine. Um, so this time I have him at 221. And while I do think Georgia is going to be very close, um, Trump should win Georgia. I think the Republicans, both Republicans, will be do well in the runoff in the Senate races. But where I think the election is over and Biden will win, he's going to come to North Carolina. Um, I don't see a path in which Trump can win if he doesn't win North Carolina. Uh, because if he w if Biden wins North Carolina, can you really see him losing, say, Michigan? And at that point, he just needs 11 electoral votes. And I'm going to give Biden uh, Peyton Manning's favorite district in Nebraska. And I'm going to give him Arizona. First time Arizona would flip to the Democrats in a very long time. With that being said, I do have it being very close. I do have Biden winning uh, Wisconsin, and I have Trump winning Pennsylvania. I think Biden uh, loses his home state. The third senator doesn't win it. Um, so 281, 257, Joe Biden, 46th president, Nikki Haley, 2024.